I'm just on my way to Weight Watchers. I'm looking like a bit of a nana because it's not the sort of place that I like to walk around filming myself, but I just wanted to say good morning, try not to get hit by a car, and let's go for this weigh-in. I brought my knitting this morning because I'm a bit later and I think there'll be lots of queues for weigh-in. So I'm off, see the other side. How difficult is it to say hello? Um, ah, I should cut that, but do you know what? Let's keep it real, I'm not. <clears throat> so, it's lunchtime and I just thought, I filmed quite a lot of bits and bobs um, and I'm trying to avoid talking too much today because I think probably you had quite enough of my talking yesterday. So I've tried to film some other uh, pretty bits and pieces that I'll put in my lovely lovely probably one of my longest oldest friends not oldest as in age um and has been round she wanted some help with her knitting she's quite a uh an experienced knitter she knits she doesn't have much confidence and you will either have seen already or you will see after this that she wanted some help with some with a gusset increase, she's knitting a little jacket for her greyhound, which is so cute, a little sweater. And she phoned me up and said, I need some help with the increases. I don't understand the pattern, which is fair enough because, you know, it's um, a pattern for a dog jumper and there's a gusset increase and she's not knit socks before. So there's no reason why she would know how to do a gusset increase. So she's been round and we had a lovely catch up. We will be going, actually you'll see some more of Anne at the end of the month because every year we go to London for a Christmas shopping day. No matter how busy the year is and how little we might get to see each other, we always manage to carve out time for a day in London. And it's been going on since the kids were little. I've known Anne longer than I've been married. So um, I've been married 27 years this year. So. Uh, we were friends before that and our husbands know each other and so on. And the kids grew up together, although they don't see each other now, they've kind of grown apart. But Anne and I still go and do our Christmas shopping. It's Over the years, it's turned into more of a, um, let's just go and sit in Selridge's Cafe and drink tea and eat cake kind of day. And we wander and we pick up bits and pieces, but gone are the days when we used to have to buy 
sort of toys and, and loads of stuff for the kids. But it's lovely. It's such a lovely day. So that's coming up soon. Uh, but anyway, she's been and gone. I have just caught up with the messages that people have been leaving on YouTube, on the vlogs. Thank you. Please keep them coming. Love it. And I try, um, I do read them all and I try to reply. So um, I really appreciate that. And I'm getting some thumbs up now as well. So that's really cool. I get quite excited about all this. Um, you will have seen I went to Weight Watchers this morning. This is a happy face. Uh, really pleased with my three pound loss. I know it's week one, you lose more. And also I was probably at my heaviest that I've been for some time. So, but it was lovely even so, because I've tried before in past years and you know, even week one, I've not lasted. So I'm really, really pleased and I'm determined to keep going uh, to get my seven pound first target. So that's that this afternoon. I've, uh, I've got a date with some more white shirts and the ironing board, um, which I probably won't share with you. I think you've seen quite enough of me ironing. And I have a list here, what else? Oh, piano practice. I did some yesterday. My new music has finally arrived today, um, which is just here. God, I love a bit of Mozart. It's a tune that a lot of people will know, not the entire piece. It's a duet, so I'm going to be learning to play it with my piano teacher. There's uh, a lot of black notes. It's like when you see a knitting chart and you see all those cable patterns and all those kind of various things. And then, yeah. But once you start to pick it apart and practice and split it down, then it's all okay, isn't it? So that will take a long time to learn though. So don't hold your breath. I did start learning a Christmas piece yesterday which is a jazz version of Decker Hall. So I'm really uh, enjoying that. You never know, by Christmas, I might be brave enough to play it um, if I'm still vlogging or podcasting or whatever by then. So that's that. More knitting. I've made progress, a little bit of progress on Hannah's sweater. I should be doing some of that. So I'll, I'll pick up the camera this afternoon. Not sure I'm going to get a lot of weaving done today, but we have... Uh, the workmen are in tomorrow, putting the new radiators in. So I'll be shutting the front room with the dogs again and the loom. So I think tomorrow will be a loom day. Plus, I've got a few Christmas plans to share with you. So that'll be me for now. Look at that. Nearly six minutes talking. I just don't stop, do I? Anyway, I'll sign off and I'll see you later. Once again, the light is starting to go. So as much as I was going to put together some more bits later, I think I might do what I did. Like this morning, I put a clip from last night in. It's no good me waiting until later because the light is so bad to actually close it all off. I think that's what I'll do. So if I take any clips tonight, I'll put them on tomorrow. Uh, so I am I will sign off now. I will say... Um, have a very good evening or a good morning. We won't go through that again. My final thing will be that I mentioned, I think, about...
Did I talk about colour work mittens yesterday? I think I did. I think I showed you the colour work books that I liked and as I've got the urge to knit some colour work mittens and I dug out the pair that I knit probably about two years ago. So I thought I'd show them. Um, so basically, it's those. And then on the back, they're just those crisscross patterns. They are so gorgeous and warm. Uh, they came to, <clears throat> I'll put them on, I took them, we went to Denmark, <coughs> oh, excuse me, two years ago, that's it, and so they were stars on there, and that's the, the pattern. So ideally, I'd like to knit another pair along these lines, really, um, with a picture, as opposed to the Norwegian traditional kind of selbu type of thing which I also love so jury's out on that um, for now I will say bye bye and I'll see you tomorrow mm -hmm.